Hi, my name is Rory Singer. I fight out of Athens, Georgia in the Hardcore Gym and Straight Blast Gym International. And you're about to learn a little bit more about me uh, in the next couple minutes. I well, started off in uh, wrestling and, and uh, did some amateur boxing and just wanted to uh, try and test myself, stepped it up to Muay Thai. And then uh, just from there, it was just like, why not just put it all together and started training and fighting and got a school going, got a business going and a gym and just started doing it. See what it was like, see how well, how well I could do in the sport and test myself, test my, you know, my skills against someone else doing the same thing. I am one of the instructors. Uh, Adam Singer is the head coach and trainer at the gym. I instruct Forrest Griffin and uh, Daniel Anchetta, who's also a, uh, a pro fighter. I know I'm finding a gentleman by the name of James Wakefield, and uh, he's out of Louisiana, I believe, self-trained, calls himself the Red Dragon, the Golden Dragon, the Leprechaun. He's got too many nicknames. He's living on bar time, and I'm going to kill him. Not, no, not today. Sometimes, sometimes, well, I get nervous, but when I'm in the ring, you're no longer nervous. It's anxiety. You just want to get it over with and get in there and just start doing it. So there's no question about what's going to happen. When you get in there, you just fight. And you fight until you win. You fight until the bell rings or someone taps or whatever. I feel badly for him tonight. I don't think I've felt badly for anyone before, but I feel badly for him because I'm going to kill him. Because this fight means a lot to me today. It's in front of my crowd. He came here from Louisiana to fight me in front of my people, in front of my friends, and there's no way he's beating me. Well, my brother is my coach, uh, so obviously he does. We're a business partners together, uh, co own the gym together. Uh, obviously, my mother and uh, her husband have their you know, questions about why I do this and would rather I probably become a lawyer or a doctor instead, but uh, she accepts the fact that I do this and supports me and just you know, makes her, her anxieties known, wishes me well and tells me to stay safe and not get hurt. Uh, actually, I have a full-time job. I work for uh, an, a car insurance agency, and uh, before that I worked for the University of Georgia. I graduated from UGA with an engineering degree uh, back in uh, May of 99. So, I don't necessarily know if I'm your typical fighter, but uh, it's definitely something I love to do. Yet I still do this, so how stupid really am I? I don't really know how to answer that, but uh, you know, you just do it because you love it. You do it to test yourself and you put all that other stuff aside. You know, you work nine hours a day and then you go train a couple hours a night. You get, you know, you go to bed, you get up and do it again. I don't know what inspires me. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual inspiration. There's just, there's just the feeling that you know, you just want to do it, you just want to see what you're made of. You know, I do it for myself as opposed to doing it to prove anything to anyone else of how tough I am or how big a badass I am because to me that's the wrong reason. I do it to see if I can train my butt off, cut weight, work hard, and then go out there and compete against another combat athlete who's doing the same thing in his hometown thinking he's going to come here and beat me. You know, I've got to train hard to make sure that he goes home a loser and I get the W on my record. Rory, very excited, just like I would be. <laughs> Love to get it on. Love this shit. <laughs> James, James seems very calm. Very relaxed. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a... Yeah, but you know something? This is why I tell you this, Casey. You can't Don't hit. do Don't it. Hit. Don't tap. Don't tap gloves. You do it after the fight. Don't do it before. You stick your glove out there to me, I'm going to knock you out. The bell rings, it's on. Boy. 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 In my opinion, it looks as if if Roy stays there, he's not going to last very long. Just control himself. The biggest part of this fight is controlling yourself. Roy wasted his position. I think he got a little excited. He got a little excited. I don't think he should have. He should have. Oh, Roy's going for an arm bar. This is going to be over. That's it. That's it. It's over. Casey, you know something? It's still early. We've still got three more fights. Tony Tucci, Marcus Hicks. 
That is a grudge fight of grudge fights. Move fighter really to the nice. center of the ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're by submission. The O4 clapping our hands out there. Do you love the glory singer?